this document processing model is number one on hugging face now this is paddle ocr vl so this is a combination of a 0.9 billion parameter ultra compact vision language model with a 0.3 billion language model which is arni 4.5 so what happens over here is that uh, you uh, you are combining a powerful at uh, compact vision language model and a language model to enable accurate element recognition so this is a state of the art resource efficient model tailored for document processing so this model efficiently supports 109 languages and excels in recognizing complex elements text tables formula and charts while maintaining minimal resource consumption so that is what they are saying over here um, they are saying is that paddle ocr vl achieves sota performance in both page level document parsing and element level recognition uh, and they claim that it significantly outperforms existing solutions exhibits strong competitiveness against top tier vlms and delivers fast inference speeds so you can actually try out this model in their uh, demo on model scope which is what i did right and for me the results are a little bit mixed with this particular model so let's go into the demo so this is an image which i have uploaded over here right so this is how the demo page looks like you can upload an image over here and you can enable chart parsing and or and you can say parse document okay so i have not enabled chart parsing over here there is no chart over here right so if you look at this particular page there is this complex equation over here and if you look at the output it is done a proper recognition of this particular page over here okay only thing is that uh, this equation 2 and 3 is there right if i go to the visualization this equation 2 and 3 somehow that is not coming into this markdown preview okay but otherwise this is how it has done this is the first block second block so on right it is passed this page properly and you know there is no ocr errors or anything over here when i looked at it right so it can parse these equations and give you the output in markdown format okay now let's try another example so here is where i found some surprises so this is a balance sheet of alphabet so if you look at this this is tabular data and if you look at this particular thing here you have this dollar dollar and stuff like that right and um, you know there are various amounts present over here if you go to the visualization over here it says that it is detected this thing as whole okay now but if if i want it as markdown probably what would happen is that i want current assets and then you know this is under current assets you know all these things come and then there is total current assets total assets you see this indentation over here right between these values now let's go to the markdown preview and see what happens over there if you look at this okay it says alphabet in consolidated balance sheets in millions except par value uh, per share amount so it is given this part properly and then you have this as of december 31 2024 as of march 31 2025 unaudited okay so you have this as of december 31 2024 so this part is correct but look at this value okay 2346 then it says some td style text align center 23264 which is this line right Ideally, this 23466 should have come in this under December and this 2364 should have gone over here. Okay. So some error over there which has happened and a dollar is missing for some reason. Okay. There is a dollar in that line which is missing. Okay. Now, if you go over here, it has put all these things assets. Okay. Which is a main column. Right. Now, if you go to assets column over here, it should have been one single, uh, you know, kind of row. Right. But that's okay. But then it has put current assets, everything cash equivalent, everything under that it has put over here. Okay. And it has done this. Right. So somewhere a little bit of layout mess up is happening. And some characters are getting introduced over here like this. Again, you see this 455. Again, dollar is going for some, you know, it's hallucinating something over here. And it is combining both these values into a single column over here. Okay again over here wherever this dollar sign comes it is having some issues right and if you go down over here you will see things like you know again this value so it's done uh, again i'm not sure 
why is this value getting repeated over here if you look at this you have this 452 wait let me see maybe i am okay that is there over here sorry about that uh so again this errors are coming over here like this is the last part and if you see this one class a class b conditional it is pulled out all those stuff stockholders equity and above that you have zero zero where did that go now good question you have stockholders equity over here and after that you should have that preferred okay see see this preferred stock thing should have been present as a separate thing over here and zero zero should be present now is it present over here or not? That is zero zero. No. What is it doing over here? It's combining those two lines into a single line over here. It's compare it's combining these two into a single. So there are some parsing errors in the layout which is happening over here. Right? And I don't know why dollar symbol is getting converted into some HTML. Right? HTML style format. I'm not sure why that is happening. Okay. Now I tried another thing. I gave it a newspaper over here, you know, image of a newspaper, and this is in Canada. So probably if it is not able to the lang uh, do the language recognition, probably it can give something like that. But then it is hallucinating some nonsense over here. Okay, it's pulling this image. It is giving some part of it is getting detected. Okay, but then again it is hallucinating a lot of content under that. I'm not sure why this is happening. Okay, because this language may not be supported. But then you should not hallucinate like this, right? So you just should check if the languages are supported by this particular model. Uh, this hallucination problem is there. Okay. I tried another image where I had to do OCR. Okay. So what I was expecting was this chart to be separate, this chart to be separate. I enabled chart parsing over here and I gave this image. But if you look at the way it has done it, it has given benefits. Okay. The next block is this one this one right the next one is this this part okay it goes like that seven up to this part right this 90 percent then it suddenly goes to this chart and pulls up this chart as the next block eight nine over here ten over here again comes to this as 11 so it is doing this kind of a raster scanning of this image even if it does a raster scanning weight loss effectiveness this one and then it should have been low risk factors right it five should be here six should come so it is jumbling up the layout over here okay so if you look out uh, look at the results that is what is happening over here it says benefits weight loss effectiveness blood sugar control 90 percent then it goes to low risk factors over here so somewhere there is a uh, you know parsing error which is happening in these kind of complex images which is what and some kind of hallucination actually it is uh, over here hb1 ac it is saying in64 fc uh, even though it, the quality is not that great but it is doing some kind of hallucination over here one more handwritten example which I tried out was this document. Okay, if you look at here, there is this Motilal Nehru committee. Uh, it is doing most of things in this document properly. It is doing a very good recognition. But you see this part. Motilal Nehru becomes motional. Some Chinese word over here, committee, had demanded a bill of rights. So there is this hallucination which is coming up in some of the images. It does this handwriting recognition quite well over here. Okay. Because you have the combination of an OCR plus uh, a language model, a lot of spelling errors and other things will get corrected. Okay, so it has done that. But then, uh, you know, there is hallucination in some images over here. Okay, so that's been my experience with Paddle OCR VL. I tried installing it locally on a Collab notebook, but I have ran into some kind of, uh, you know, library issue, some kind of compatibility issue with some CUDA libraries. So I'm not able to test it out properly over here on the local installation, but you can also go and try out this demo to see how it performs on your documents, right? Um, whether, you know, you have issues with this hallucination, whether the layout is being properly captured and things like that. So this is a good model. I am having mixed performance in some cases with this particular model, but they claim it to be a really good SOTA model. So you can check out this particular model. So they talk about sort of performance on document parsing. Um, they talk about this architecture of combining your vision uh, language model. The best part about this particular model is that the number of parameters is quite low over here, right? Because you can easily run it on 
low resource environments because combined um, i think the number of parameters over here is what this is 900 million this is 300 so it is less than you know 1.3 or 1.2 billion parameters okay so it should uh, run on low resource hardware as well so that is one good thing about this particular model uh, they have put a lot of benchmarks over here how it performs on various uh, you know uh, omnidoc ocr bench performance uh, across other ocrs and uh, other libraries right so you can go and check out that but always have your own benchmark data set and try it on your own benchmark data set to see how it performs that will give you an idea of you know uh, these models will claim it to be sota but it's not sota unless it works on your benchmarks your uh, benchmark data set because that's what you will use for your business purposes so this was a short video on paddle ocr vl so this is a vision language model which is built for multilingual document parsing i'll be putting all the relevant links in the description of the video hope this video is useful see you in another video